In the days before Instagram and Facebook took over the world, there was another social network on the scene, MySpace. Avid users of the site will have fond memories of their very first digital friend, MySpace Tom, whose profile appeared in everyone's top eight list. When people talk about MySpace, they tend to remember two things, the often hilarious status updates they shared as teenagers and the face of Tom, the first friend everyone had on MySpace. What most people don't know about the platform and its founder though, is that the popular social networking site, MySpace was sold in 2005 for a startling $580 million. It was also the largest social networking site in the world between 2005 and 2008, and even surpassed Google as the most visited website in the US in June 2006. MySpace was sold to News Corporation for $580 million. So what happened with MySpace after Tom sold it? In 2005, Tom brokered a deal with Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation to sell MySpace for a whopping $500 million per Wikipedia. Tom and his co-founder Chris DeWolf got some fat paychecks from the sale, while MySpace would go on to become utterly obsolete in just a few years. News Corporation would sell it to Viant for $35 billion, who would then go on to sell it to Time for an amount that wasn't disclosed. Now DeWolf is a co-founder and the CEO of Jam City, a Los Angeles-based video game developer. The inspiration for Jam City came during DeWolf's days at MySpace. As of 2021, Jam City's games have 31 million monthly active users and 1.3 billion total downloads. DeWolf founded Jam City in 2010 with former 20th Century Fox executive Josh Watto and former MySpace executives Colin DiGiaro and Aber Whitcomb. DeWolf is also an investor in the travel site GoGoBo. He served on the board of trustees of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art and is on the board of directors for Woven Digital. But what Tom Anderson has been up to since, he retired before the age of 40 as a multimillionaire. Now he's a world traveler and photographer and a very talented one at that Indonesia, Singapore, Hawaii, China, Scotland and beyond. He takes photos all over the world and then shares them with his 7 million followers across social media platforms like Instagram. He also has a personal blog where he pairs his world travels with his own personal musings. Basically, he's living the life every millennial spends their work days daydreaming about. Tom Anderson's net worth is pretty darn impressive. As of this writing, the man owns a sizable amount of wealth, $60 million per wealthy gorilla. He is currently an investor in both SpaceX and CRISPR from the looks of his IG account. It appears that a lot of his time since selling MySpace has been spent on capturing utterly breathtaking images and videos while he surfs and travels the globe. However, he has not shared any travel posts since 2018. The 50-year-old lives in Hawaii and appears to be leading an amazing life as a travel photographer, exploring the world and sharing his beautiful snaps from exotic destinations such as Thailand, Bhutan, and the Maldives on his Instagram and Twitter accounts. Named MySpace Tom, the entrepreneur doesn't have quite as many followers as he did in his MySpace days, but does have an impressive 637,000 fans admiring his impressive photography. How Tom got into photography was the result of a trip to Burning Man. He said, I wasn't taking photography all that seriously. I just wanted to document a wild scene. But when I loaded the photos onto my computer, I was hooked. I knew I wanted to capture more scenes around the world. My passion for photography is what keeps me traveling. I have multiple homes in multiple cities, but I'm not satisfied just staying where I'm comfortable. I want to keep creating, said Tom, about his jet setter lifestyle. Anderson is active on other social media platforms, including Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Well, he seems to be succeeding. Tom also has quite an eye for color grading. His unique style looks like something out of The Great Gatsby. In addition to his worldly travels, Tom also does giveaways and contests on his social media profiles, inviting followers to come join him in unique locations. One way he is engaging with others is through his blog, which has the URL of, you guessed it, myspacetom.com. Some of the most recent posts showcase more of his travel photography, with features devoted to his travels in Malaysia and Beijing. And according to CheatSheet.com, Tom bought a West Hollywood home for $3.08 million in 2019 from the chain smoker's star Drew Taggart. Although the downfall of MySpace was often attributed to the popularity of Facebook, 
it appears Tom doesn't bear any grudges and also has his own page on the social network, which has over one million fans. They'll be able to fondly remember their MySpace days, as Tom still has the same profile picture as he did back then, even though it is in a very grainy quality and a far cry from his recent images. If this isn't the wanderlust sort of lifestyle that makes you jealous, I don't know what is. Not a bad way to spend retirement, wouldn't you say? Follow Tom on Facebook and Instagram to stay current with his adventures.